Cyber fright number 27, how to prepare for a cyber attack. This is a big, 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 long video that I could spend literally hours talking about, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give you a couple of things. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your firewall is properly configured. Make sure that you have a defense in depth strategy, that you have a layered security approach from different vendors. Make sure your mas machines are patched. Make sure that you're uh, changing your passwords often and you're not using the uh, passwords uh, across multiple platforms. Those are the core you know, functions and basics that's going to lower your overall risk so that in the event that a cyber attack happens, you're going to be safe. If you've been watching our cyber fright tips and you're concerned about the overall security of your company, or maybe you want to know where your risk is and if you're applying your, uh, your IT budget in the right way, well, you can take us up on a, what we call a cybersecurity starter pack. And in this cybersecurity starter pack, we're going to come in and we're going to do a dark web scan. We're going to give a free uh, phishing email uh, to all of your staff, as well as cybersecurity training. We're also going to take a look at your Office 365 portal and do a network evaluation in order to kind of help you rank your high, medium, and low risk, as well as put together a one-page technology roadmap uh, based on what actions you should be taking to get the most out of your IT budget. In order to take us up on this free um, cybersecurity starter pack, all you have to do is go to askbis.com slash cybersecurity dash starter dash pack. And we'd be happy to come out and we'll spend some time with you and get it to where you can sleep a little better at night from these cyber criminals.